Hello some viewers, how are you all? Welcome back to another video. Guys, in our previous video, we would have seen the how to generate a counter. In this video, we will see what is while controller and how this counter variable will be helpful in while controller. So without any further ado, let us start the video. So guys, let me enable this. In my previous video, I would have disabled it. Debug sampler if controller. Let if let it, if controller be disabled, and let this HTTP request be disabled. Now I'll create one controller in add sampler logical controller. I have a while controller. I'll put this while controller above debug sampler. Now here we need a condition so that it would execute the while controller. We can enable this. In the while controller, I need a groovy script as we have seen for if controller. So I need I need to see whether counter is less than five. I want to execute this entire thing while controller for five times. So let me open the tools function helper dialog. So I want groovy here. So groovy. So I'll put it here. Uh, JavaScript. I want parse int because. I want to convert this counter to an integer variable. So I want this um, counter actual value. So I'll put dollar here outside. I'll put counter so that how many open brackets I have. So one open bracket, two open brackets. So I'll be closing this. This also. And I should check it video which is uh, less than five. So I want to generate and copy it to clipboard. Let me close this. So let me add it here. So it is groovy script of JavaScript percent dollar counter less than five. So now, as we all know, that counter will be incremented. So let me uh, execute this now by view results tree. So now let's see. So yeah, it debug sample. You can see one, two, three, four, five, six times it executed. Okay, in the while control, what we'll what we'll do, we'll add a dummy sampler, and in dummy sampler, we'll write the counter value. So it is inside while, it is inside while, and I want to add the sampler. So I'll put here dollar counter. So I will remove the counter for HTTP request. So I don't want the counter value here. So now I can disable this also if I want. Let me remove the groovy here. Okay. In JavaScript, I want the parse int value. That's it. So I don't want an extra open bracket which is here. So let me clear the screen. Let me execute it now. So it should run for five times. That's it. Because as soon as it reaches five, it should stop, and debug sampler would have been executed. Okay. So what was the condition? So if it, if I give less than whatever 10, so it should run for 10 times. So let us see the counter should be one counter will come one in the beginning itself. So now view results tree. So it came for 10 times. Okay, this is one of the condition. You can add this. I'll uh, what I'll do. I'll copy this. So I'll click on here. I'll paste it again. So now what I'll do, I'll disable this. What if I gave just true, the value true, right? Nothing like this, no counter, nothing. It should execute. It doesn't matter. The statement is true. Now while loop should execute for n number of loops. Doesn't matter. It should execute now. Because always the value is, uh, see, inside that value is there, counter is incrementing. And it, it will be an infinite loop. I have to stop this. Right? Now, let me go to this. And we have 200 OK. This is another scenario. What if I gave last? Right? What it will do? So, let me close this. Uh, so, let me clear the screen. So, let me execute it. So, last in the sense, it is waiting for sampler to give me 400 right, but it is not giving me 400 so it will be infinite loop again. 
So how to avoid this? Let me copy this. Let me paste it here. So copy and then I have to go to while controller. I will paste it here. I will give dummy inside white. I will write a scenario fail and I am giving this as 400. So I will remove everything. I will just put fail this one. Here I will remove everything. I will put inside while and this is I will put, put pass and I am the successful message for failure. I need uh, I don't have to click this. I will let, let me put 404 and let me put not found. Right. So let me now execute it and I can put this one. Okay. First, let me execute this scenario. Let me put no. So I'll remove the counter. I don't need counter value also. So I need pass and fail. Right. So let me execute it now. So now counter value. So now loop is 6. Right. So let me put it for 1 only. Okay. So let me execute it now. So if it fails, it stops. That's it. We got one failure. It stopped. Okay, what if I copy this, copy, I'll paste it here, right? I'll paste this here, uh, but before while, will it execute inside? So let us see uh, that scenario, go to view results tree, close this, now execute it. So just, it, uh, it uh, got this failure, it went for debug sampler, it did go even inside. So these are the few scenarios with while controller. Hope you'd have liked the video guys. If you like the video, please click on like. If you're a new viewer, please click on subscribe. Till then guys, take care. Have a great day. Bye-bye.